Hey, welcome back. So today is a two-part tutorial. So I'll be showing you how to use Photon's hash table system and we'll be making kills and death tracking in our leaderboard for our game. So let's hop right in. I have two things open. I have the player setup and the leaderboard and also, also actually the weapon. There we go. So in our player setup method or script, Let's add a new public void and we'll call it, let's call it set hashes. In here, type try and then below it, let's type catch. Cool. In this try thing here, we'll type hash table hash equals photon network dot local player the custom properties. Now we get this error right here. So let's add some stuff up here. So we'll type using hash table equals exit games dot clients dot photon dot hash table. So what this means is that when we say hash table here, it's using the photon hash table, which is what we want. Now we want to add properties to this hash table that we want to store for our player. So let's go to our room manager script. And since our player dies multiple times, we want to store stuff like the kills and deaths actually in the room manager script for our hash table to sync. So we'll add a public int kills and we'll set it equal to zero and a public int deaths and we'll also set it to zero. Now we want this to be accessible by the player setup but not show up in the inspector. So what we can do is we can add the hide in inspector tag to both of these like so. And in this set hashes function, we'll type hash open square bracket kills is equal to room manager dot instance dot kills and we'll do the same for deaths so hash deaths equals room manager dot instance dot deaths now we'll just put photon network dot local player dot set custom properties and we'll pass in our hash and in here we'll just do nothing cool so when do we want to call this well we want to call this when the kills or the deaths changes actually you know what let's i apologize let's move this function out of the player setup and into the room manager script and we'll we'll copy this as well to the very top and we can remove the room manager dot instance stuff here just for optimization as so okay perfect so the set hashes is now in our room manager not in the player setup and we have this up here cool so now we want to call this on kills and on deaths so um let's go to our weapon script and in this kill bit here that we set up in the last video let's put Room manager dot instance dot kills plus plus which increases it by one and then we'll put room manager dot instance dot set hashes and then for our deaths we'll go into the health script and in our take damage function under if health is less than or equal to zero let's just copy and paste this thing here instead we'll increase deaths by one and set the hashes. Okay, so we made two mistakes. The first one is last video when we checked if damage is equal is greater than the health left. We want this to be greater or equal to because this only checks if the health would go into the negatives. But in most cases, with our damage being 25, for example, it would actually only go to zero, which this wouldn't cover. So this will give us the kill points. Now the next mistake we made is, or the make mistake I made, um, my bad, is 
in this health function, this function is actually synced over the network, which we don't want. So we want to add the deaths score only on the local player, not on all players. So let's bring this into the is local player function, like so. Now you could test this and it would work, but you wouldn't know because right now we have no way of visualizing or seeing stuff like the kills and deaths at the moment. So let's add that to our leaderboard. Under each player, let's um, duplicate the score. And we'll make this, we'll just rename this to KD. Center it. Okay, looks good. And I'll just copy and paste it into each of these. Also, now in our leaderboard script, let's add a new list for our KD texts. Cool, and let's just assign that real quick. Make sure to once again do this in the right order. So now let's set this up in our leaderboard script. So in here, we'll do if player the custom properties and we'll look for our kills is not equal to null we'll make kd text i dot text equal to player dot custom properties kills plus plus slash plus player dot custom properties deaths now the reason we're not checking that deaths is what equal to now is because we set both of them at the same time so if kills is not null then we know for a fact that deaths is also set to something whether it be zero or one or two and then else We'll just set KD text I dot text equal to zero zero. And this should be it. So let's just disable the players holder and let's test. Alright, so we're in a game. Let's test this out. We both start on zero zero kills, zero deaths. Let me kill Alex. Perfect. And it updates. Now let's try the other way around. And this works flawlessly. Awesome. I really hope you enjoyed this one. This one, I love making this one. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. Take care.